Hey everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be putting the exhaust pipe on this bike on the Fox 70. The KO. He said KO. He said KO. He said KO. Uh, this one from this bend here up to where it bends around that starter is longer than that one. And I read where people was complaining about that but I think I can make it work I have to make it work because once I get this one off of here you'll see why so I got my little torch out here just in case so just in case because I don't want to those look bad I don't mind if the stud comes out of the head but I don't want the stud breaking off in the head um, I've got a fan running behind me so sorry about that so let me get you on a stand and we'll see what we can do with this. There's only two that holds it on. So, all right, let's get ready to do this. So there's the first nut we're gonna to try to take off right here. I'm gonna try, 10's a little loose, so I'm gonna try 3 8 on it. I did spray it down just in case, but I don't think 3 8's gonna work, but 10 does feel a little loose. Ugh. We go back and forth. Okay, so we got that one broke free, broke loose. Uh, like I said, I did spray, because there's threads right there. So I did spray them down a little bit ago. Um, but remember, there is no spray in the world, whether it be WD-40 or liquid wrench or croil. None of that stuff you're going to spray on a bolt and leave it set and then come out and you're magically just going to... It doesn't loosen stuff. It assists in the taking out of, like, the nut, you know. So now there's one behind here. I know you guys can't see, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that. And then we're going to... There's a mount right up under there. Come on right there just a 10 millimeter let me get the other one out first and then we'll take this one off okay so these are actually 12 or this one is actually a 12 so I'm using half inch on the bolt side and a 12 on the uh, nut side not sure how this is going to come out of here but I should probably move this reflector so I don't break it off now I'll back you back out here Let's see if we can uh, finagle that thing out of there. That other bolt came right out. It came out nicely. Uh, 
hate that they make them one piece like this. I don't know, can you guys see that? Right there. <laughs> Man, I really don't want to pull that starter off. I don't care about cutting this to get this off, but a new one, you know, it's one piece. I won't be able to. Well, I could cut it and weld it back together, but I don't like doing that. I Man, I really don't want to pull that starter off of there. All right, we found a way. All right, can you guys see this? <laughs> See it split all the way from right there, center your screen, and it gets better. Okay, so there's that thing. Now if I can remember how that come out, <laughs> I may have to roll the video back. Ooh, this is hot. Sitting in the sun. this off let me take this off and then it should go in there okay guys <clears throat> so I cut that pipe and welded it onto the original header so let's see how well we can get this to fit now It's not quite dry, but that's okay. There we go. All right, so I'm going to get this bolted up. I didn't change the uh, <clears throat> show you what I did here. I didn't change that that bracket originally bolted there but I'm gonna bolt it right there where that reflector goes and I'm just gonna tighten those two bolts up I'm gonna put that chrome piece back on it but this is what I had to do I cut it off of here because this one just wasn't long enough down this way so Essentially, that's what I did to it. So, there's the piece I'm going to put on it, back on it. So, let me get those bolts in there, and then we'll uh, we'll start it up and uh, see how it's running. I might have to adjust the carburetor a little bit, but we'll see. Hang tight, guys. All right. Go ahead and put this on. So what I did when I cut that off, okay, I I did uh, I did film it, but I didn't film it. Thought I was filming. The camera was on, but the record button wasn't pushed. So anyway, I cut it. And then I stuck the header pipe, this part, back on. So I kind of measured once it was off to where I was going to cut the new one after I cut this one. And then I mounted it at the back and I held it in place and I just put a couple tacks on it. I got to tighten that plug. 
I just put a couple tacks on it, took it back off, welded it, grinded it, grinded it down, and painted it. Grinder and paint make the welder you ain't. Actually, I'm a pretty damn good welder when I have a pretty damn good welder. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> these little 110 flux core things, they get the job done, but, you know, that's about it. Okay, let me get you at another angle here. And we'll put the battery in, we'll start this thing up, see how it sounds. Okay, let's uh, let's fire it up. Let's see how it sounds. Put you back here at the pipe. Washed out here. All right. Much better. All right, time to put it back together. I'm not going to bore you with that, guys, because there's, um, let's see, two, um, a couple more down in here somewhere. Anyway, two, there's two more up in here. Can't remember where they're at. Oh, I got a gas tank bolt to put back in. And then I've got, uh, let's see, so that's four. I've got um, oh, 14 and 14. So that's 28. I got like 32 bolts to put in this thing. Okay, 34 bolts, because two hold this thing on, two screws. So, all right, let me get that back together and I'll get it on the ground. We'll fire it up one more time. Maybe I'll give it a wipe down later. Um, but yeah, that's what holds those on. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good to go from there. It should be ready to be put up for sale. So I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, it's all done. There we go. Yeah, that makes somebody a nice little bike. There it is. Let's move, I'm going to move it out here in the light. Okay, <clears throat> there she is. Looking pretty good. I think it'll make somebody a good bike. I'll do another before and after shot at the end. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let's uh let's fire it up here. Cool. All right. Then I got 
this working. So that's cool, the tether works. And uh, there it is. It's pretty good. Once it dries up, you know, it'll, it'll look a lot better. Yeah, just wipe it down with uh, WD-40. Transmission fluid works the best. And just let it dry. And you'll get a nice matte finish to it. But yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Now I gotta get all my stuff cleaned up. <laughs> and I'll be done for the day. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna get this video posted for you. That bird's loud. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one. I'm going to do a camp out under here. I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow night. Maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. i got to put a dresser together for Monkey. So, and put a screen protector on her phone. So, I don't know if I'll get to it tonight or not. But anyway, so yeah, that thing's, that thing's ready to, ready to sell. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'll keep you updated on uh, what I get out of it and all that. What I've got in in it. I think I'm into it for 75 or 80 bucks. So, yeah, I should I should turn a couple dollars on it. And uh, then we'll start on another project. All right, guys. Thanks again. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye and take care. Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire.